It always comes to this. guys here to do a bit of a different video today this is one that I've been kind of uh, looking for an opportunity to speak about for a while now just kind of haven't had the right catalyst or the right fire in my belly to to cover it for a full-length video but uh, I definitely do now and in fact I've been waiting to do this really all week <laughs> expect a bit of a rant here um, I'm gonna talk about today whether I've gone whether I think I've gone too far whether I actually have gone too far, um, whether I should have shut this thing down a while ago, if it's uh, beyond saving now, if I've made a mess, um, if I've been in a mess for a while, whatever. Um, obviously, I have my own bias on this, so it's going to be a little hard for me to detach from that, but I will do my best. Now, the reason why I'm making this video now and why I was um, quite quite incensed to make this video now is I was just I would say a week ago tagged in a video made by an old pal of mine an old um, uh, what would I say business partner to some degree collaborator uh, Renee Zizi Renez who has obviously needs no introdu introduction runs a very successful YouTube channel as well as other social media that are derivative of that um, I have my own personal thoughts on the direction that he's taken as of the last year or so, but I'm not going to get into that too much today. I'll cover that on a Reacts video, um, as I'm not sure all of that is sincere anyway. He featured me in a quick TikTok reaction video recently, coming down overly um, negative on my project, and uh, I believe the exact phrasing was, this man needs to stop. Uh, he's got about eight layers. What was once red is now black, then red, then multiple passes um, of black, red, whatever. Something like eight layers. Um, I don't like this, but I appreciate this. Was more or less what he said. Now I'll put a, I'll put a picture of that in here, while I'm speaking on this. Um, I'm not exactly offended so much as I am. Like, it's it's more like I'm not surprised. I'm a little disappointed uh, always in most of the reaction towards this project because I feel like people seen my blackout project in a way that I never intended or they took something from it that was never real or was never my intention. Um, that's always going to be the case because most people aren't going to read and they certainly aren't going to watch uh, uh, my videos explaining my thought process but I have been very clear and I haven't deviated at, at any point um, I most people don't speak much most people don't explain their thought process much and when they do they don't sound sound of mind you know it sounds like insane rambling or um, like that person isn't very well thought out um, that's not necessarily the case that's just that they don't they don't really elaborate on things. Now, there is a wealth of information out there, written and spoken, um, and there's, there's hundreds of episodes of podcasts out there where I've explained my thought process step by step and my growing evolution. It is not random. It's not insane. It's not pointless. Things aren't just happening um, that moment. Everyone that watches this channel will know that my projects are well thought out in advance and the only way they can be executed is if that's the case. For example, the minute I did some red on this shoulder, it meant I need two to three passes. So, but it also works in conjunction with what's going on. Um, it's been built together and it was built together on purpose, not, not uh, cobbled together. The only time my work was cobbled together was um, in the very early goings of my first bodysuit. Even by the end of my first bodysuit, everything looked pretty cohesive. Now, there was some magic done there to make that the case, 
Um, now, I will say that when I was blacking out that bodysuit, there were people that were saying I had gone too far then. So just keep that in mind. Before I even got to the point that Renee ZZ or several others were um, wanting to collaborate with me or feature me or use my, my, uh, my name for clicks or uh, attention to build their own brand, um, before all of that happened, I had already been told I had gone too far. So I've been hearing this for a very long time. Now the reason why it irritated me so much in this case is because um, we're on board to support something when it's fashionable, right? When we can make money with it, when we can make, uh, when we can get clicks off of it. But I don't think it's fashionable. What I'm doing is not fashionable because most tattooers are still saying that what I'm doing isn't possible and therefore there's no money to be made with it. It's not lucrative. Now, if, if Renee Zizi, for example, or some other content creator comes out on side of my project and uh, believes in it hard, well, that's going into contrast with a narrative that's supported by most of the industry. That, for one thing, what I'm doing isn't even achievable to begin with, and it certainly won't last. That is the established narrative. Just this morning, before I made this video, I, you know, I checked my message requests a couple times a week. You would not believe how many messages I have from people that have asked to do a project over black and their artist has told them that that's not doable. It won't last more than a month. It'll be gone by the end of a day. The day, of, the amount of time changes in every instance. It's never the same. There's no agreed upon rule. They just say it doesn't work. Well, my existence puts that into compromise and it will. And so I don't think that it's fashionable for a Renee Zizi to come out in support of what I'm doing. Now, he may think what I'm doing is ugly. There's a lot of people who don't like my chess piece. There's a lot of people who think the roses are generic. These sorts of comments were exactly as I expected them to be. There was nothing that happened there that, that was not perceived or that was not anticipated. All of that went according to plan. This sleeve was supposed to be recognizable imagery that anyone could re anyone could tell what this sleeve was from any distance. That was the desired intent. That wasn't an unfortunate thing that happened to me. I wrote a fucking pop song. <laughs> I wanted it to be, someone says you can't do something over black, it's like show them Remy's sleeve. It's you would have a hard time not knowing, or you would have a hard time knowing that was black at one point. You would not believe it. It's even more the case now. It's only gotten better as time has gone on, not worse. And when uh, Renee Zizi and others originally featured my sleeve in progress when I was working on this, the overall uh, idea was that it wasn't going to work. Like we've got people talking to tattooers about their thoughts on it and. Um, they're giving their critique on it and how the red will go brown or this thing will happen and and they're talking They're all very well composed. They're speaking like they oh, they know from experience and oh, this is the science You don't know a fucking thing sit down shut up and you observe. I will show you what's possible That's what's happened here, and I don't think people have liked that Now in the case of a Rene Zizi <laughs> and I will keep referencing this because um, he did make that video. If I had have done something very formulaic, like some white line work over my entire body that was one piece, that uh, looked consistent and faded immediately, he probably would have covered that positively because that's what people are liking right now. Um, people really like this bullshit white line work on black thing. You, you can go for that if you want, but that's not the look that I was going for. I never really did any of this to fit in, by the way. Even the blackout, even though blackout became very popular, by the way, after I started doing it, it was not popular when I started doing it. Um, the fact that it became popular in vogue and in fashion meant that to a certain crowd, I was iconic or what I was doing was um, with the times to some degree or I just got there sooner. 
you know? And I believe that what I'm doing now will be too. But for now, black work is still incredibly um, in vogue and popular, and I think that it's, uh, that will only increase with time. People will only like black work more. I do agree with that, and I don't dislike black work. But for me, I didn't get black work because it was a cool aesthetic. I never said that it was that. I never once said that. What I said from the start was that I was blacking out as a way to rebuild. It was a, be a new beginning. It was not the end zone that most people think it is. See, the problem is most people who get a black sleeve now have seen them on Instagram day one and they see that clean sheet of black and they see it being catching a lot of likes and a lot of attention and uh, they, they want some of that for themselves. Not saying that's always the case, and I'm not even shaming that behavior. That's just what I've observed is that blackout sleeves have become very popular. Blackout necks have become popular too, to some some degree. Uh, Rene Zizi as well got into this. You know, for a while he was covering it, and he didn't have any of his own, and now he does. For him, if he gets any white on black work, it will most likely be very formulaic and uh, in, within the, the system, very in the box. It won't be anything that rocks the, the boat to any degree because a lot of people just want to be pretty pictures. I'm not pretty pictures. And I was never ever planning on being done at the blackout. Now I get people who tell me that the blackout looked better than everything I'm doing now. I had a woman comment the other day that uh, my old tattoos looked tougher. She's not impressed with my new work. <laughs> That's pretty much an exact quote. It's like, okay, lady, well, guess what? You can black out your whole body too. I'm not superhuman. People, people say they, they would love to have my pain tolerance. I don't know that I have a stronger pain tolerance than anyone. How do you measure that? It's just discipline and mental focus and to some degree mental callous builds over time. But I wasn't born with some uh, superhuman defense or um, in, like tolerance to pain. That's not the case. No one is. That's all mental. It's all mental. So to get back to the point of whether I've gone too far, it's like, well, I think people who play hockey a couple times a week have gone too far. Uh, Sarah, my, my wife's brother, is BMXing every night. And he hurt himself real bad the other day. I think he's gone too far for me. For me. That doesn't mean we, we, he's not allowed to do that anymore. It just means that I wouldn't go that far, right? But it's not up to me to decide how much he BMXs and how many times he crashes either. That's part of the passion that he has, you know? We're not out there trying to ban BMX biking because people get hurt doing it. Meanwhile, we have some chuckle fucks banning colored tattoo pigments. These people are fucking morons. These people are morons. And anyone who agrees with that is also a moron. We do more dangerous things on a daily basis. We sell people cigarettes. We sell people poison. We sell people alcohol. This is poison. I'm not even disagreeing with drinking it. I've been known to partake. I just went on a mushroom trip myself the other day. I like mushrooms. I microdose quite often. I have no real problem with people doing whatever they want recreationally. But I'm not going to be there telling you you've gone too far. Um, until I'm injured from this, there's no reason to make such a statement. And I'm sorry that it's not pretty pictures that are easily digestible by the mainstream. I will keep doing this whether it's popular or not. Currently, my Instagram is not trending the way it once was. You know, when I was blacking out, I was all over the place because as much as people like to hate that, the reason they hated it was because they secretly loved it. You can't hate something without loving it. And now what I get is a lot of, um, I think at first the novelty of like, he's doing this over black was pretty cool to people. And now it didn't go the way that some of them wanted it to. So now it's just kind of like, oh, well, it, you know, he should have done something else. It's like, oh, he did roses. Can you believe he didn't travel across the world to get that chess piece done by someone who does that every day? There is no one who does that every day to begin with. But these are some of the things that I've heard. It's like it's either too crazy or it's too simple. 
you know? You're never going to please everyone. This is something I've, uh, I've made my peace with a long time ago. But whether I am or am not in the, the, the zeitgeist um, seen in a positive way or a negative way, because, by the way, it's mostly the tattoo community that's turned on what I'm doing. And mostly the regular people that don't know a lot about tattoos or don't care a lot about tattoos feel like this was the right choice. So it seems funny to me that when I was doing the blackout stuff, a lot of the industry um, figures were on board. And now that I'm doing um, cover-ups over the black, it's the normies that like it. And they didn't understand the black. So it feels like you can't be the hero to both. Um, what I'm doing now, however, is technically the most interesting stuff that I've done. Whether or not anyone agrees with that, it doesn't matter. It, it quite literally does not matter whether you agree with that or not. What I'm doing now is the most interesting tattoo work that I've been, that I've done, um, and also that almost anyone has done on a, on a technical level. Whether you like the imagery or not, so if it's too far, if I've gone too far, well, that's okay. I'm going to go farther. I'm going to keep going farther. Um, I feel like anyone who does what they enjoy is probably going to be going too far in that than for someone's taste. You know, if I was doing this for um, uh, to trend on Instagram, I would have stopped the blackout because even when I post flashbacks of the blackout suit, it seems to trigger the algorithm a little different because it upsets people more. Um, I don't know. And then there's always the people who liked that aesthetic too. But with that said, when you do what you love, you're going to end up going farther with it. Too far is relative. And uh, I think that like, it's only too far for certain people because it's not pretty pictures. Like if they had done it, they would have done it prettier. They would have done it nicer. It would have been, it would have been so refined and elegant. And no, it wouldn't have been. It would have been what you thought that is. It would have been your version of that, which this might be my version of that. Maybe I think that tattoos should be a little bit ugly. They should be a little bit, you know, striking. It should, it should have a look. That's what I've always thought. I see these, these really tame kind of geometric um, body suits that are put together. And yeah, they're technically good, but what the fuck are they? What is that? Again, this isn't me saying you can't have that, but that's not for me. I don't like these line work, lots of uh, negative space pieces either. Like, it's not for me. It's not aggressive enough. It's not, you know, it doesn't draw you in. It doesn't attack you. It's, I want something that's, if you're going to do a fucking tattoo, make it loud, make it say something, you know? The blackout was loud. But again, the blackout wasn't my intention for life. I always knew it was going farther than that. It was like, yeah, this is like being in a cocoon. You know, my first suit was more or less my first effort. Um, then I'm in a cocoon for a while. And then it shouldn't have been a shock to people if they were fucking paying attention that I was saying all along more was going to happen. I didn't always know what that was going to look like. But it was always, always on the table. It was always the future. If people actually paid attention to what people were saying versus what they wanted to be hearing from them, none of this would be surprising. Like, it's, it's not really that surprising that I did all of this. It's not. And I don't think it's too far either. Not for me. Now, I will end this with a caveat. And... I think it's pretty fucking funny and pretty fucking ironic that a guy like Rene Zizi, who pals around with Black Alien Project, who is in vogue, by the way, people love Black Alien Project, whether they realize it or not. Um, they love him. They love him. He's gone way farther than I have in terms of body mod, not in terms of tattooing. But because he's in vogue and people love him, and he's a spectacle all the time, um, Rene Zizi is a big support of this. He pals around with them, chums around with them. But because my too far is not in flavor right now, I must be stopped. 
it, it's really funny the selective outrage that we have in the uh and by the way i'm using renee zizi as a as a a symptom of a bigger disease here that i'm not necessarily trying to focus on just him but he represents a certain subculture that uh i've been at odds with for a while now and uh I couldn't have had a better uh, example of this than this moment in time. So you can look forward to me covering that topic a little further in a react soon. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.